Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. Tonight what we're going to do is uh, work with putting a method onto a JSF page through a button. And how we're going to do that is uh, use this application module method and then drag and drop it using the data control. So let's get started. First of all, since we've gotten it written, what we need to do is expose it to the client interface. And you do so by pressing this button over here, little pencil and then just clicking on it and moving it over. At this point, once we refresh the no, that again, once we refresh the data control, you can see that it's now there. I'd like to also point out that um, right here we have a, a, a method that actually calls that, defines it, and then if we go over to this one, we actually have it hard-coded in a quotation mark. And this also becomes an issue if you decide to later change the name of the uh, the Java class, which we're going to actually do just uh, as an example. So, all right, we've got it ready. We're going to go over to our uh, employee JSS JSSF page, which I've already created. What I have here is I have a, a main JSF page with a region in there. And uh, this takes advantage of the task flow, which we have down over here, the employee task flow. And uh, if we take a look at that, you can see that employees is there. It's the only one at this point. It's um, nice to be able to use task flows because then you don't have a, a lot of moving pages. So let's go back. We're going to go over here, and we're just going to drag it over. And uh, we just put it in an ADF button. Now we press Save. Uh, I always like to make things just for good luck. And uh, we're going to run this. We go over to the JSF page, the main JSF page, and we run it. Okay, here we have our form. It's opened up, and we have our requery button. And isn't that wonderful? Um, so, the next thing that happens is the user says, gee, I like that requery button, but I actually want to see the number of records that are produced. So you go back to work. Okay, now this is going to take a little bit of work because we've already created the, the Java file or the Java method, and we could already we could create another one, but let's say we want to just use the one we have since it's there, and, and although this is a very simple one, it could be that it could be much more complex in the future, and you just wouldn't want to mess with it. So instead of doing just the uh, just that, we're going to actually put a return in, and uh, we're going to do vo dot get executed or estimated row, ca row count plus and we put a space there so that we have a space on the form um, uh, let's see we have records created or records found something and then of course we're going to do a string here so that this becomes now a, a re return and hopefully you'll spell it correctly. Okay, now what we've done is alter this and um, we better do something about that because uh, we've got it hard-coded in various places. Like right here, this is hard-coded. So let's go back and the, probably the easiest thing to do, and this is a very simple project, but to remove this and uh, in this particular case, it removes those from there. And then we can just save it again and uh, put it back in. Now, this time, it's got a string there to it. Okay? Now, there it is. We also need to go over and make sure that the button on the JSSF page is no longer associated with the previous one. We want to refresh our data control over here. And now what we're going to do is drag it over and put it in as a button. Now, um, since we've also got the VO count, what we want to do is drag over the re results. And we're going to put that in as a, just a, a, an output. OK, so now we save that. <clears throat> and we're going to run it. We run it from the JSF page. Press Run. And with JDeveloper, wait. And it looks like we have a little error here. So we'll have to see what that did. Records found. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing like a semicolon in Java. Okay, and I always make your Java just to be pure. Okay, so let's go back to make. 
or run this thing. Okay, we've got our report and we press the button and we get 119 records found. You can see that I'm uh, very uh, imaginative with my names. Okay, now the user says, gee, that's great, but I really want to see this when I first open up the form. So we'll go back to work. Luckily, this is easy, and especially now that it's in the task flow, it's even easier, because what we can do is just drag this over into here, and we've got a method now that's now on the form. We remove the default activity from here by doing mark activity, default activity onto there, and then we do a control flow case over here on the left, and we drag it to there. It automatically uh, pulls in the name of that <coughs> requery employee. Okay, so now when we open the main JSF, what's going to happen is, is it's going to run that and automatically populate the, um, the output. Okay, now it's coming on board, and we'll see when it works. It takes a long time like this, you have to wonder. Ah, oh, but there it is, and it automatically populated. We could probably even remove the requery button and just have it sit there and show the records found. But that is an excellent way of populating data. There's another way of doing it also where it's actually in the um, bindings here, where you would, um, oh, hold on, let me go to the uh, JSF page. In the bindings here, where you would actually add a uh, method action here but that's kind of hidden and when it's in the task flow you can actually see it and uh, you pretty well know what it does and uh, it's, it's not a bad way of doing it because it's right in the flow um, so that's the best way of doing it and you can see how we started off with one Java class and ended up changing it and um, now we could probably change this name um, again, we'd have to go to the other, you know, we've, we've got it in the data control and we've got it on the form, so it requires a fair amount of work to change, but requery employee is no longer really the best description for this method. It would be query and, and count or show count. So uh, again, we would go over to this, remove it from the client interface, delete it from the form, rename it into here and the best way to rename by the way is to refactor um whoop, excuse me refactor and rename just in case there's any variables anywhere that might be uh, or it might be called somewhere else and that way uh, everything is updated and um, the reason that you want to do this is that this does not get changed when you requery it because it's a it's a string for this. So that, that's the main thing about uh, refactoring. And you can see that this, this class is called Java Cleanup over here. Um, and that's what it was meant to be. It turned out to be a little bit more because I was interested in doing a JSF, oh, excuse me, JSF uh, page here and show how to use a method in the task flow. And that is the end of this video for tonight. Thank you very much.